Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you my sunlight and sauna so you'll get a peek inside my home office. Uh, here I have my table and my test kits and supplements set up. Um, that's for my nutritional work, although I'm not doing, um, I'm not seeing clients right now. There's my standing desk, you might have seen that in some pictures, and here is my sunlight and sauna. This is the Signature One, and it's the one-seater size. It's about three feet deep, uh, three feet wide, and six and a half feet tall. So the Signature One has far infrared rays. Uh, if I was buying a sauna now, I would buy the M-Pulse uh, style from Sunlighten, which has the far, mid, and near infrared rays for uh, a wider uh, variety of therapeutic benefits. However, I love this version um, and I use it about three to four times per week. So inside there's the single seat and I do apologize for the reflection in the glass here. I hope you can you can still make out what's going on with the sauna. So inside there's a really intuitive and simple control panel. It just has on and off. This is the maximum time setting. It's an hour. However, you know, I've preheated this for 40 minutes. Um, usually preheat it for like 20 minutes. Uh, and then I'll be in here and I'll just keep increasing the time if I want to stay in here longer. Uh, and then this is the temperature control. So the minimum is 100 degrees. It goes up to 150. And then right now it was um, reflecting the current temperature in here. There is a uh, light for the outside and a light for the inside for reading. You can also get chromotherapy for these, which would be colored light bulbs for other therapeutic and healing benefits. So I'll turn everything off. There's one more control panel on the outside, and that just has an on and off right here. Okay, and then the wonderful thing about this is, if you see, it's the black cord for the sauna, but it just uses a regular outlet. Uh, the directions say to put it on a separate electrical circuit, to plug it into an outlet with a separate electrical circuit. However, I don't, and it works just fine for me. It seems to use not too much electricity, uh, so I'm not following the instructions there. I'm just telling you what I do. The last thing to show is I have my uh, Wi-Fi router right here. So every time I take a sauna, I just unplug it so it's completely off because I don't want to have a lot of concentrated Wi-Fi EMFs directed right at me when my body is trying to detox. And this is actually the reason why I selected Sunlighten after so much research because it is really low EMF and so many of the infrared saunas on the market are high EMFs um, due to the heater technology. So that's something to watch out for if you're in the market for a sauna. So I hope this was helpful to show you what the sauna looks like in the space, how I use it, and of course for more details I have that all written out on Empowered Sustenance. So I'll talk to you later and bye-bye.